Hello friends. Welcome to the S3 Cloud Hub channel. In this video we are going to see how to create and connect PostgreSQL database with RDS. So without further ado, let's get start the session. So as you can see, this is my AWS management console. Now here, first we will create a security group that defines an inbound rule that will allow access from the internet then we can associate the security group to a database instance. So let's search for VPC. And here, let's click on create security group. Let's give it a name here. Description. Now here let's add an inbound rule. So in type, let's select PostgreSQL. And here in source, let's select anywhere IPv4. And then the same thing for IP version 6. Here outbound rule should be good. No need to change this in tags also. So click on create. Alright, there we go. We're able now to create a security group for our database instance. So let's go ahead now, and create a PostgreSQL instance using the RDS service. So please go to RDS. Now click on create database. Here make sure you click on standard create database, then the PostgreSQL. And here for the version, I will go with 13.4. If you go for latest one then you will not able to use the free tier template. So here let's select free tier. So here let's give it a name. Now here let's give a password. Here let's select burstable class, and select T2 micro. Now here for storage, select general purpose. And make sure you have disabled this auto scaling. And now in connectivity, enable public access. And then select our security group that we have created. And now in additional configuration. Here let's give a name to initial database. And then disable this auto backup option, the encryption, and all this. Now click on create database. So this may take 5 to 10 minutes. So as you can see on the screen, it's created now. Now the next thing that we need to do is, we need to connect using the PG admin software to this instance. So let's click this. And here let's copy this endpoint or the address. And then let's open up the PG admin. I will provide the software link in the description. On my end, it's already installed, so let's see here. Here let's click on add new server. Enter the connection name. Then click on connection tab. And this is where we put in the endpoint address that we copied. Here, make sure the port is 5432. Enter the username and password that you created. Now click on save. Alright, so we're able to connect now. And let's see if we're able to see the sample DB database here. It's successfully loaded. So yeah congratulations, you're able now to create a PostgreSQL using the PG admin software. I hope you all guys understand the concept. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below, I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.